Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome to another video, my name is Gabriel, and today we are taking a look at the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 set, Rotor Rescue. This is set number 5866, for ages 6 to 12, with 149 pieces, and this and no minifigures. This was released in 2010 for around $13 in the United States. I got it second hand on Brickland, uh, don't, don't mind Sprite in the, hold on, give, give me one second. Sorry, Sprite likes to scream unless he's next to me, so I got him on my shoulder now. But what were they saying? Oh yeah, I got this second hand on Bricklink for like five bucks. I did make sure to check, and every single piece is there and in good condition. And we also have the instructions. There are two instruction booklets. This can be rebuilt into three things. We have a helicopter, and there's a speedboat and a biplane, and I am excited. I've had sitting in my backlog for a while now, and let's get into the speed build. Just sidetracking a little bit. I know I said this is a three-in-one build. I went, normally I like to have the instructions on my uh, computer here, so that way I'm not flipping through the pages, I was trying to build, and I notice there is a fourth build up there. That looks interesting, on the official LEGO website, so I guess I'll build and review that too, because why not, right? But yeah, so I guess this is now a 4-in-1 set. Um, yeah, let's get into the speed build and find out what this is all about. Alright, and here we have the finished build. I'm not gonna lie, that was a very satisfying build. I really liked it. And this is a really cool looking set for like a $13 creator set. This is pretty awesome. It's a very simple looking build. It doesn't have too many details here and there, but it captures the look very nicely. So it's a very like thin looking helicopter design. And but it, there's no landing gear, but it's still really cool. There's a huge propeller on top and it spins very well. And so does the rotor in the back that also spins really nice. Um, I wonder if you can fit a minifigure in here. I got a, I got a little DJ right here. Uh, no, you cannot fit them standing or sitting. You can get, you can fit them uh, bending down like that. Um, there, one thing to note that there is a door that opens up in the back, which is pretty cool, like a little cargo door. So you can shove a minifigure in there somehow. But uh, you can't get them to sit normally like they would, like if they're pilot in the helicopter or anything like that, unfortunately, uh, which kind of sucks. But it's still it's still pretty cool. I mean, you can. I wonder if you take off their legs. I guess you could kind of fit them in there, maybe. No, he's still too tall. Yeah, I guess you can't put minifigures in there. That sucks. It would have been nice if you could. There's a spotlight here with the megaphone piece and a little clear stud on the side. On the other side, we have the the winch piece. That's a winch, right? No, the zip line. The zip line piece uh, clipped onto the one by one. You can take that off, and that will work with a minifigure. There are two big engines up top, uh, right underneath the propeller, which is really cool. You get the windscreen piece right here on the front. And it's a nice rounded off front as well. And um, the propellers are pretty basic. There's not a lot of detail to them. Uh, just some white tiles on the ends of both of them. And there's a little clip in the back here. I don't really know what you can do with that. Um, I guess it's maybe just for like um, detail. Uh, there's a light in the back. And that's pretty much it. One thing I like to notice. The seller I bought this set from actually included all the extra pieces as well. I think that's really nice. Too bad I can't remember the seller's name because I bought this so long ago. But I would I would love to have given them a shout out if I could have. But yeah, it's a pretty basic looking build, but it's still a cool looking build. So now let's move on to the next one. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Uh, I think next is the biplane. That one looks interesting, so let's do that.
Now for the second build of the set, we have this pretty cool looking biplane here. It's a very small looking plane. There's no landing gear, just like the helicopter. Uh, it has a really nice spin and propeller. And like I said, it's another, or like the helicopter, it's one of those basic uh, builds with not too much detail, but there's a little here and there, like a little light up here. And uh, a little cockpit. I wonder if you can fit somebody in there. I wonder if this guy will fit. He won't be able to sit, maybe? Just maybe? Oh, you can get him to barely sit. Alright. Maybe, maybe if he stands up. That might... Yeah, you could, yeah, you could get him to stand up in there. That's pretty cool. It's tiles down there, so it's not like he's gonna stay standing. And then, there's some more studs in the back. I have one more minifigure. I got Lloyd back here with his bowl of cereal. There, you got two minifigures zooming around this plane. That's pretty funny. Uh, there's some little, there's like a vent here on top of the wings, another one in the back. And this is held up by these uh, couple bricks here, and then these two cones. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty pretty interesting little build. I like the color scheme with uh, red and yellow. And I forgot to mention that in the helicopter. And uh, you get about this many extra pieces left over. I wonder if we can build our own landing gear with that. What could we use for landing gear? You probably use something like these uh, upside down slopes. And maybe, is there jumper plates? Oh no, we use all the jumper plates. I guess we'll have to double up. And there we go, landing gear. Ta-da! Perfect. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I don't know why they didn't include that. Well, I guess it doesn't. I guess it's because it doesn't really look like landing gear very much. Uh, oh, there are also some clips off to the side here. I wonder what we could do with those. They didn't tell me to put anything on there, but you could put the megaphone and the zip line on there if you wanted to, because you have them in the extra pieces. So might as well, right? And now you can spin the propeller while it is sitting on the ground. You weren't able to do that before without the landing gear. Um, yeah, there's that one. Now we can move on to the speedboat build after I just finished building this. And here we have the third build of this set, which is the speedboat. This is a uh, pretty small speedboat, and one thing I don't like is how it's actually very flat on the bottom. It doesn't have any rounded uh, curves underneath, and no, it does not float in water. Uh, but I do love the detail that was put into this engine, though. That was pretty cool, the motor engine in the back. Uh, is pretty fairly detailed. Uh, you also have the megaphone uh, spotlight uh, clipped onto the side here with some vent panels or tiles. And I like the smooth uh, sloping they have in the front here. It's pretty cool. And uh, where's my minifigure? I hear you. Uh, let's see if we can try and fit this guy in here. So can you stand up? He can stand in there, but it's kind of loose. There are two studs there. I wonder if we can get him to sit. Oh, wait. What if we just take off the thing and then we can put him down and he fits oh let's go we actually got a minifigure to fit on here that is awesome that is uh that's super cool for, um for those of you wondering what minifigure this is this is the dj from series 8 uh collectible minifigure series 8 and then the other figure i showed is um lloyd from the lego ninjago movie collectible minifigure series uh, i don't know why they're just lying around but they're just there but yeah, that's uh, that's uh, this build. Um, I like how it's like all yellow on the side, and it's all red on top, and there's this one stripe here. You get all of these um, pieces left over after you build it, so I wonder if there's something I could build with this. Uh, maybe if I put like some spots here, and maybe like a light up here, and I don't know. I'm just experimenting. But now, time to go on to the fourth build, which is some smaller built uh, or boat kind of thing, which is pretty interesting. So, let's get on to that.
All right, and here we have the final secret build of the set. I say secret because I actually did not know about it until until I actually started this video. But it's uh, actually probably my most favorite. I'm not even gonna lie. It's very detailed in uh, many different areas and I love how it's got like that round shape on the bottom and the top I mean of course it's got like a flat bottom can't float but on the side it's rounded on the front it's rounded and it's a pretty cool looking rescue boat it's got a nice detail for an engine or nice detail on the engine I meant uh, there's a pretty cool uh, light up top I mean it's literally just a cheese soap <laughs> but uh, there's also the zip line here and the, uh, and the light and then over here we have a propeller uh, decked out with every single white tile you get in the set and it spins very well and I don't think you can fit a minifigure inside you can try popping off the roof and sitting them down but there's no way that this guy is gonna fit yeah fortunately the minifigures do not fit in this one maybe you can you can stand them up in the back here you could definitely do that but uh, that's pretty much it you could shove them in maybe jam them in through the side there <laughs> well this is this is a pretty cool build one thing I don't like is how this uh, tile these tiles keep popping off at the end here the engine has a little bit of motion it can move a little bit back and forth um, I don't know if that's by design but uh, it can do that and that's pretty much it um, yeah let's move on to the instructions now oh wait these are all the pieces you have left over. There's uh, quite a bit, uh, a lot more than there was uh, from the other rebuilds. I mean, they don't have you use the big plates in this build. So, yeah. I don't have the box for this set. It didn't come when I ordered it, so I'll show a picture on the screen right now. And now moving on to the instructions. We get two of them, like I showed in the beginning. In the first one, we have the picture of the rotor rescue on the back. It actually shows you that this is a 3-in-1 plus 1 set, and you can go to lego.com and find the instructions. And I'm glad that the instructions are actually still on lego.com. That is amazing. Like I showed you uh, on the building instructions website, you can find those. Over here, we have um, a way to, ac or to get the Lego Club, to join the Lego Club, sorry. Um, this is actually how I joined the Lego Club when I was younger. I got this and I think it was in um, the Indiana Jones instructions. I mailed this out to the Lego Club and I started getting magazines and um, I aged out when I was 11, but hey, it lasted me for a couple of years. I mean, I was six when I did that. Uh, over here, we have an ad for the Lego Club. Uh, we have the win kit, which is inside the instructions rather than on the back, which is a bit odd. And uh, another LEGO Creator website ad. And then we have ads for some creator sets. So there's the Rotor Rescue, and there's some old classic sets that I don't remember. I mean, I recognize that one. That's a pretty famous one. It's probably pretty expensive. Uh, same with these ones. I looked up that one. I thought... I thought that one would be uh, fairly cheap because it didn't have any, you know, exclusive parts or minifigures, but it's actually very expensive. It's about 150 bucks now. Uh, that big vehicle transport actually looks pretty cool, and then the fire truck and the dragon. And uh, that's it for this instruction book. And in the other one, uh, this is the instructions for both the speedboat and the biplane, and there are no ads for this one. Uh, these are both medium sized, and yeah. So overall, I really like this set for 13 bucks. It's not bad. You're really getting a great set here with four different builds. Oh, my camera's dying. There goes the flash. I guess that's my cue to wrap up this video. So I'll give this an 8 out of 10. The only thing I don't like is the simplicity of it, or like how there's not a lot of detail, but that's also a major thing that I kind of do like. Um, I was really satisfied with the building process, and it, uh, it was really fun. I mean, it's not as... Um, weird as like putting together mech joints or something like that. That's the kind of stuff I don't really like. I just like laying down bricks and plates and making a simple build like this. I do not have a display for LEGO Creator vehicles, so I'm just going to pack this one away or rebuild it into the helicopter and then pack it away or something like that. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if there's any other LEGO Creator sets you guys want me to review. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.